Okay, we're just getting ready to head off and uh, pick up the stuff about the auction. We're already hauled home the uh, first load of all the uh, smaller items. I'll go ahead and go over what we bought here uh, a little bit later. And uh, but for right now, we have to go get that uh, lawn mower that we bought. If you haven't seen the video on the auction, there'll be a card up here in the top corner of your screen. Uh, go check that out so you know what's going on. But uh, we bought a lawn mower and uh, a bunch of mower parts, and uh, we already brought the parts home here on the first load. Now we have to go back and uh, get the mower. I uh, hope it's going to go fairly easy and uh, get it hauled home pretty quick. Uh, we're going to test out the uh, pickup bed I have built for the Mazda B2200. If you haven't seen the video on that pickup bed, uh, again, they'll be called a big top corner screen. Make sure you go check that out. And uh, let's go ahead and get going because uh, it's going to be getting late and I want to be home before it's dark. Just got loaded and tied down. It's about a half hour drive, maybe a little more home, so we'll probably take it slow with this on here. Later. Okay, we're back here to load this again. See if he rolls it for get on the trailer. Uh, apparently our pickup cannot hold this up, but it weighs more than we thought it does. It weighs in about 1,600 pounds. And uh, we're rubbing the tires on the... Oh, we're rolling. Okay, apparently our Mazda pickup cannot hold this mower up. We uh, had to borrow a trailer. And this is our third trip here. Second trip to get the mower. And uh, it's getting later. Just about the evening. And... Uh, we need to get this loaded and get home. Yes, to raise the bag because it's wanting to drag the ground. Chest barely clears. A little further. That part, though. Okay, there it is. We need to get it tied down and hauled home. 12 seconds later. Okay, so here's the mower that we bought. It is a, a Tessia, or however you're supposed to say that. And uh, this is made in France. Lawn mower, and I need to do some research on it. And um, the reason why we had issues getting it hauled on the pickup bed on the back of the Mazda because I didn't realize this mower weighs 1,600 pounds. And I normally don't like to haul more than 1,000 pounds in the back of that pickup. And uh, I will show you on what was the issue with the pickup bed here in just a minute. But uh, it's kind of an interesting mower. We have the bagger raised up out of the way for right now. Uh, Mike, you need to get a battery for it. And it overall needs to be cleaned up and kind of gone through. But again, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll cover this here. In the next video and uh, try to find some more info out about it okay right here's where all of our problems come from on uh, why we couldn't haul it because this rail right here was rubbing up against side tire and uh mostly it has this washer on here and uh that washer was rubbing i don't know if you can see that onto the inside so i need to cut off the inside of that washer it won't hurt me then to cut off so I don't have this issue again. With the other side, I already took the angle grinder and I cut a slit in each one of those. And I uh, bent this rail out just a hair and then re-welded it. And I'm going to have to do the same thing with this rail right here. To make sure it doesn't get caught up in tires again. But again, that mower was 1,600 pounds and is more weight than what I should be putting on this pickup anyway. But... um. 
that's what the issue was and why I couldn't haul this mower on back of the pickup. So uh, it's kind of a work in progress, this pickup bed. And uh, kind of learning as I go. And um, I should have moved these out just a hair further, but now I know. So real quick, we'll go through uh, what we bought here. Uh, we bought that lawn mower. And uh, we also bought, I believe it is a four of these radiators. And uh, these are for the larger Hustler mowers, the diesel mowers. And uh, we also bought it's a four or five oil cool loser for those large lawn mowers. Uh, bought a new set of wheel motors, of a hydraulic wheel motor. And then got a set of used motors with the hubs and brake drums on them. We also got this 37 horse uh, brakes engine, which gains off of one of the biggest mowers. I think it's like a 104 inch cat. And uh, we don't know much about the engine, and uh, we're probably going to get it running here and uh, see if we can get it sold. I also picked up uh, quite a few uh, suspension forks for a uh, front of one of those zero ton mowers, along with um, some mulching kits. And the mulching kits uh, consist of three mower blades, and then the baffles go underneath the mower deck. And then I also picked up a couple uh, electric clutches. Uh, we need to uh, sort through all this stuff and uh, see what exactly fits, what it goes on, and we'll try to uh, get it sold here and make a little bit of money. I need to do some more research on that to test the lawn mower. And uh, it's really interesting, that whole bag I set up. It kind of reminds me of a walker, but uh, it's really a, a pretty nice setup. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that here coming up. Um, I'll see if uh, one of my viewers, which is a uh, Golden Tractor Boy, I'll see if he has any information on this uh, Atasia mower. Being that he's in the UK, he might have a little bit of insight. And if you haven't seen his videos, uh, go check him out. I'll put a link down below and uh, go check out his channel. He has a lot of stuff on uh, golden tractors and a lot of interesting things. So be sure to go check him out. Okay, this is probably going to do it here for right now. Uh, sorry I didn't get any more filming done. Was really uh, racing against the clock trying to get that mower brought home. So I didn't really get much uh, footage of the problems we were having. We we're just trying to uh, get it back here as quick as we could before it got dark. I hate to leave the mower there overnight just in the empty parking lot. The uh, trailer we borrowed worked out perfectly and this little Mazda pulled the trailer really nice. And this is the pickup that has the Kia engine. If you haven't seen the uh, engine swap videos, it'll be called again up here in the top corner of your screen. Uh, be sure to go check those out. And uh, I was really surprised in how well this little pickup pulled that trailer with the uh, mower and stuff on it. And uh, really did well. So this is probably going to be here for right now. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up. And always leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.